Sonabel Limited, operators of the Bagri Dump in neighboring Burkina Faso, hinted of spilling the dump latest by Monday, August 30, 2021, to avert any breakage of the dam's banks. The annual spillage of the Bagri Dump results in displacement of residents, destruction of crops, and in some cases, drowning of people to death. As part of efforts to respond swiftly and mitigate the impact of the spillage on residents along the White Volta, the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, led a team of the 48 re-engineers unit of the Ghana Armed Forces to assess the current situation of the water levels at the confluence of both River Kolpelga on the Red Volta and River Bagri on the White Volta at Galaka in the Boku West district. After a thorough assessment, Deputy National Director of NADMO Abu Ramadan said, though the Bagri Dam is yet to be spilled, his outfit is poised to deal with any eventuality. From messages we've received from the Sunabe authorities, so far we've not received any information as to this, whether the spill, spill gates have been opened or not. Uh, but in anticipation of that, we're still putting uh, putting works in place to make sure that when the spillage starts, we won't have the problems we've been facing in the past. And as you can see, we are here with the 48 engineers, uh, detachment of the Ghana Armed Forces, and we're putting a comprehensive plan for relief and support and rescue too as well in place, should the spill gates be opened. And uh, we've come here together with the team to assess for ourselves the water levels here. Normally we are a little concerned when the water levels are high here and the spillways are open. The larger impact to us well. But I, I would say so far we are happy with the water levels here. It's not, it's not that threatening. Where we are much worried about is downstream. So the entry point into the country shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem. We, we would rather focus attention on the situation downstream, moving away from here. Mr. Ramadan said it would be difficult to negotiate with authorities of Burkina Faso to spill the Bagri Dam in bits in order not to cause havoc along the White Volta, but was optimistic the construction of the Pualugu Multipurpose Dam will help mitigate the impact of the annual spill. The Burkina Bay authorities spill as and when the water fills, based on the filling rate, based on the amount of liters per second that the dam accumulates that translates into quantities they must spill and in some days if you last year i think when they when they spilled some days they were spilling 63 million metric tons of um, or gallons per, per second and in other days they reduce it in some days it went as high as 620 uh, uh, gallons per second so it depends on the volumes that are coming in that determines the spill, spill rate. and we can't as a government can tell them reduce spill one gallon a day so that you prevent us from the brunt of it we should also think of the safety of their their investment which is the dam they have built for irrigation and power generation too as well so we can't we can't be selfish but we can just as much as possible try and put in measures to make sure that when it comes we will be ready to 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 to, to absorb the impact of it it's a problem that we can't run away from so long as nature would always come hitting at us we can't run away from it and as government has committed to putting a dam in Palugu to help hold the water to reduce and minimize the impact of it so that we can make good use of the water that's coming. I'm sure that is one major solution to, to the problem and, and that is on course to, to, to be resolved. Regard, even if the dam is there, it won't prevent areas from, being, from, from getting flooded. Communities will still flood, communities will still be cut off, but we'll, we'll end up getting benefit from, from the spillage itself, from the Bagri Dam itself, by getting that water for irrigation and production of electricity and all. Some farmers of Galaka who farm along the White Volta Toll City News, they were ready to leave to higher grounds, but appealed to the government for urgent support. <laughs> To Mole it to go. So call me about you, come up, call my canal. The Belenki Mont Queen to Benian. So to Suhote Latti came in like a banyan song at a deep nap. Cut a dip. To know me, you'll come more to the Fauna Bizela. Yala, I did it to me, or I cannot understand that. I'm not a Fauna to be Malka, or the Tinin Danga, Libby Bise, on a yellow cup of one. I ate it in every quill. Aye, set a tap, no disease, cagoed, on an insect. The etoke, 
Ya kweli le ole tini zodo ya amaya ye ya la ole tini zimu le kagoro doma atro budo tunyani. Hey, oh tiri ba ko oya samba mosungu le tiri lena na ba mosungu le tika hariti duwe na mje tiri lebo. Katungwele motundi bgat ya la. NADMO's National Deputy Director, Abu Ramadan, assured that they have enough relief items to support persons that will be affected by the spillage. All 16 regional offices of NADMO will stock them. As I'm talking to you, even now, there are some regions that have not even finished collecting their relief items from the, uh, from the headquarters, warehouses. So, so we've released, we are ready. We are ready with relief items in all the 16 regions. And I can assure you, Regions that are heavily impacted and they run out of stock will rely on other regions that, that have stock. And if that one too is depleted, headquarters too has enough stock to give to, to, uh, to, uh, to the affected regions. So we are, we are ready for, for this year's activity. Officials of the National Disaster Management Organization, NADMO, have assessed the situation and say they are poised to deal with any eventuality. They have the men and women to rescue persons that may be drowned by the flood and also provide relief items to those who will be affected as well by the floods and the spillage of the Bagri Dam. Reporting for City News, Frederick Awuni, Galaka.